the hamburger happy clown. Here he comes. The drive through Today, a mecca for council estate connoisseurs, fiesta pop and bang map enthusiasts, and those seeking sustenance from something that surely can't be legally classified as food. There are over 2,000 drive through restaurants in the UK, from Starbucks to Burger King, all of them as hateful as one another, but there is one that reigns supreme over all, and it is, of course, McDonald's. McDonald's as we know it started in 1948 with the opening of the first McDonald's restaurant in San Bernardino, California. It was owned by the McDonald's brothers Dick and Mac who had already been running a food stand since 1937. The food stand was called McDonald's Barbecue, but having seen success with their hamburger sales, they expanded the business and dropped the barbecue part of the name. The famous Golden Arches have been serving up their concoction of liquidized animal remains and polystyrene since 1953, where we saw the first of many franchise restaurants open in the US. But it wouldn't be until the 1970s that McDonald's found its way across the Atlantic and onto UK shores. A slice of cheddar blend cheese and some crisp, fresh lettuce. McDonald's were actually quite late to the drive through party. The first drive through was opened by Sheldon Cheney, a petrol filling station owner in Springfield, Missouri, who, in 1947, converted his filling station to become the first drive through restaurant called Red Giant's Hamburg. Apparently, it was going to be called Red Giant's Hamburger, but the last two letters didn't fit on the sign. In the following years and decades, many others would open their own drive throughs Wendy's, In-N-Out Burger, and Jack in the Box were just a few of many who saw the potential in having a drive through restaurant. McDonald's, on the other hand, was sticking with tradition, and they didn't seem to get too excited over this new drive through restaurant concept. Up until this point, McDonald's had mostly operated as a drive-in restaurant, where you would park up, go and order, and collect your food at a kiosk before returning to your car. In some cases, there were staff members on hand to take your order so you wouldn't even need to get out of your car. It wouldn't be until 1975 that McDonald's and coincidentally Burger King would open their first drive through restaurants in the United States. The location chosen was Sierra Vista, southern Arizona, and the restaurant's still open today with its original sign stating it as the site of the world's first McDonald's drive through restaurant. All the family will enjoy McDonald's deliciously different hamburgers, fries and shakes. But back to the UK, and the first McDonald's opened in Woolwich, London in 1974 where it became standard practice to serve old food or food that had been dropped on the floor. Thank goodness then for the adoption of the drive through because we no longer had to witness the meticulous preparation that goes into making our meals. 1986 was a busy year for McDonald's where they celebrated the opening of their 200th store, they launched the Happy Meal, and they set about opening their first McDonald's drive through restaurants in the UK. These were located in Dudley, Neesden, Coventry, and here, Fallowfield in Manchester. It was the drive through here that opened before any of the others, making it the first in the UK. The building's roof is what's called a mansard roof, a design first introduced in the United States in 1969. Compared to the original Golden Arches, it's a fairly bland design, but it was needed because in the United States, McDonald's wanted to open more restaurants, but they found opening brightly colored and brightly lit restaurants a little bit challenging when it came to the planning laws. The mansard roof design then was a way to offer a more subtle approach and effectively to get around the planning permission laws. I'm not sure if the same applied to the UK in 1986, but it's fair to say Fallowfield McDonald's has taken its inspiration from that design era. If we compare how it used to look to now, we can see where they've removed all of the lighting, signage, and any interesting features features, so it's even more bland, much like the food. What doesn't appear to have been removed is the original sign out front. It's still as per the 1980s specification, and a wonderful insight into the past it is as well. Speaking of looking into the past, let's take a look at the menu back in the 80s and see how it compares today. Now don't be alarmed, there's no double cheeseburger or McFlurry to be found, but it was simpler times then. In 1986, a single takeaway hamburger would have set you back about 37 pence, adjusted for all the inflation bullshittery, and it's about £1.28 today, and that sounds about right for a hamburger. I, I, I don't know. Obviously, I don't frequent these establishments. A takeaway Big Mac would have set you back 77 pence and again adjusted, that's about £2.67, which is slightly less than the £3.50, £4 they tend to sell them for these days. It would also appear that over the years the Big Mac has gotten smaller, but then I think that's probably a good thing on the basis that a large Big Mac meal with a shake comes in at around 1,400 calories, and that's quite a lot. There are now over 1,000 McDonald's drive throughs spread across the country, serving up your favourite McShit burger with a side of heart attack, so it's unlikely you're going to have to travel far. For example, if you live in Birmingham, first Firstly, I'm sorry to hear that. And secondly, you'll be pleased to hear that you've got 22 McDonald's restaurants to choose from. Although not all of them have got drive throughs So walk. And there we are then, guys. A quick story about the McDonald's drive through in the UK. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.